Na mnaona vile anakaa smart. Si saa zingine awache PCA akuje DC mara kwa mara. Asante governor wetu wa Nairobi, mheshimiwa rais, mheshimiwa prime cabinet secretary na wana ADC Hamjambo. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Asante sana mheshimiwa rais, mimi sitakuwa mwingi wa maneno. Archbishop wetu, Archbishop John Chabuga na kanisa lote na washirika wetu wote. Mimi nimefurahi sana kujumuika nanyi. Siku ya leo mkisherekea zaidi ya miaka sabini ya uwepo wa kanisa hili lenyu. Na Mheshimiwa Rais wakati nilifika hapa nilikumbuka wakati tulikuwa nafanya by election ya Kibra. Vile hili kanisa walitusaidia pale Kibra. Na ile dance tuli dance na wao pale Karen na nikakumbuka kwa uwezo wenyu na maombi yenu ndio mnaona huyu rais ambaye unasikia brayo bado anamuita naibu wa rais sababu alimwacha akiwa naibu wa rais mkamuombea na hiyo maombi yenu ndio imemfikisha state house na mimi mheshimiwa rais nataka nikubaliane na archbishop na governor wetu mwaka ujao hii sherehe imekaribia state house lakini pale state house hapo gate hii kuna uwanja iko hapo mwaka ujao tuende hapo tukutanike hapo ili ile pepo nimesikia ikikanyangwa hapa riswa riswa ikanyangiwe hapo kama kuna mapepo pia ipotee kwa hivyo nashukuru kuwa nanyi hapa na pia bishop nashukuru kwa ujumbe wako na umetuambia vizuri sana that let us embrace unity as a nation whether we encounter challenges or whatever turbulences, turbulences we encounter, we must always embrace national unity. Now, Bishop, I want to assure you that that is where all the people of Kenya are in the spirit of embracing national unity. Na pia umetuelezea vizuri, Bishop, kasema ya kuwa kama kanisa, tunalo jukumu ama mnalo jukumu kama viongozi wa kanisa na kanisa liko na jukumu ya kuweka matumaini kwa watu wa Mungu sababu bila tumaini maishani tutakosa hata maana ya kuishi and i want to thank you archbishop because you put it so well that the church must be the one that gives people hope and i thank you because in your message you are giving us hope na hili kanisa ni la kupea washirika wa na wakristo na wakenya tumaini la kuendelea kuishi na maisha umesema vizuri pia archbishop ya kuwa hiyo mambo unasikia inaitwa shif sha watu wanachanganyikiwa na nataka ni muunge governor sakaja mkono because archbishop you told us as a church you support the move to shif shif ni social health insurance fund sha tusichanganyikiwe ni kampuni ambayo inaendesha hiyo mambo ya health inaitwa social health authority na governor ametuelezea vizuri and your excellency want to ask now that we have sworn in the deputy president baadhi ya kazi ambazo utampea kwa ibec ashikane na hawa magovernor ili watusaidie kuelimisha wa Kenya mambo ya social health insurance fund sababu changamoto tulilo nalo ni watu kuwa hawajaelimishwa ya kutosha na wakawa wanapotoshwa ile NHIF tulikuwa nayo na sasa hii SHIF sababu ni N2 tulitoa tukaweka S ikakuwa socio ili social health insurance fund vile wewe rais ulituambia ya kuwa serikali utakayounda itakuwa ni serikali ya kumchunga mama mboga mtu wa boda boda na yule aliye hapa chini ainuliwe asiwe anafinyiliwa NHIF imetajirisha watu wengi Kenya hii rais na wale walitajirika 
ni wenye mahospitali kubwa kubwa matajiri at the expense ya mama mboga na mtu wa boda boda tunafaa kama viongozi tuwaelimisha wa Kenya ya kuwa SHIF inamchunga mwananchi wa kawaida yule governor amesema alikuwa analipishwa shilingi 500 na mimi kama mbunge nalipa 500 wengine 1700 sasa mwaka huu mimi na hawa wabunge wetu na hata huyu governor tunalipa zaidi ya 1027 na 500 ili mama mboga na yeye alipe shilingi 300 peke yake sasa kama jameni mama mboga alikuwa nalipishwa 500 mimi kama mbunge nalipa kama hiyo sasa nilipe 1020 plus mama mboga alipe shilingi 300 yule mwenye hana uwezo hata kidogo rais ile sheria tuliweka ni kuwa serikali ilipie yule mwenye hana uwezo hata kidogo alipiwe na serikali akienda level tu vile sakaja amesema pesa iko pale hata lipishwa nimeona Mombasa juzi mama akitoa ushuhuda amefanywa heart surgery akawekwa pace setter free of charge akalipiwa na SHIF ama shif hayo mambo rais ndio ulituelezea ya kuwa utatuletea na serikali yako na zile sheria tulipitisha tukiwa na hawa wabunge zilikuwa za kuhakikisha ya kuwa wale ambao wako chini wamebebwa na wale ambao wako na uwezo shida iliyoko leo sisi tulio na uwezo ndio tunapata hizi vipaza usauti sisi ndio tuko kwa maruninga kila asubuhi na jioni na sababu ni sisi tunafinyiliwa tunapotosha wananchi nataka tuseme tuwaambi wananchi ukweli na nyinyi magavana pia mtusaidie sakaja amesema vizuri the primary beneficiaries ya mambo ya SHIF ni county governments na wananchi wa Kenya governor sakaja ametuambia hapa mbagadhi hospital wale watu wote wako kibra wako high rise wakisajili kwa social health insurance fund anapata pesa zaidi kwa kila mtu amejisajili kwa hospitali ya mbagadhi ni pesa zinaenda kwa hiyo hospitali ipate vifaa ipate dawa mwananchi wa kawaida atibiwe free of charge because that is what we promise the people of Kenya under the universal health coverage program that president william ruto promised us kwa hivyo ningeomba pia tukiwa uviongozi tujielimishe tuelewe ili tuweze kuelezea wananchi mambo yaliyoko ya ukweli ukweli si uongo si ni vizuri tuambie ukweli ili tusiwapotoshe na mambo ya uchochezi mambo ambayo itakuja iwapoteze nyinyi sisi tukiangalia yetu makuu hata mimi rais si vizuri kulipa shilingi 1027 na, na miatano ile kape slip yangu ilikuwa imebaki pesa kidogo lakini nikikumbuka 27000 yenye nalipa inasaidia mama mboga ako kikuyu mwenye angeniita harambe ni mpe elfu hamsini kijana wa boda boda anguke na boda boda aniite harambe ni mpe shilingi elfu hamsini nasema ni afadhali nitoe hii kidogo nichangie mwenye ameniajiri na yafaidike sio ni sawa mmekubalia rais na sisi tusukume hii agenda ya social health insurance fund ili tubadili Kenya kwa hivyo magavana governor, governor Sakaja governor Suza na magavana wetu wengine wote nitawaomba tushirikiane ili tuweze kuwaelimisha wananchi waelewe haya mabadiliko yote vile archbishop ametunenea leo ni ya kusaidia nchi yetu sitaki niseme zaidi ya hayo mheshimiwa rais mimi nimefurahi kujumuika na wewe pamoja na prime cabinet secretary na wana Nairobi na hili kanisa mimi ni kweli mimi ni memba wa PCA lakini sababu nakaa hapo karibu kaangemi mimi naona hiyo hiyo kanisa iko hapo karibu kaangemi pale ha, mountain view opposite hapo na wananga sande ingine mimi nitaingia hapo mniweke membership ni niwe memba wa hii kanisa eh hey. ah, hata kasisi wa kaangemi yako hapa na ameniambia yako na kanisa pale kwetu hapo Rungiri 
Karibu kabete hapo na nimemwahidi kasisi nitakutembelea nikuwe memba wa hapo Rongiri lakini saa nyingine najumuika na watu ya Kangemi ili tusonge pamoja kama nchi moja nchi ya amani nchi ya upendo nchi ambaye kila mkenya atajivunia kuwa mkenya kwa hawa mengi Mungu awabariki Asante sana na nimeona tuko na wabunge wengi wa Kiambu County tuko na makanisa mengi tunaita ya diaspora ya Nairobi hapo Ruaka Gashie si kweli mtutungie pia hizi kanisa zetu tafadhali Uh, ningependa kumwalika basi ku represent senators wanasema hawajatambulika senator Aaron ili Karen ajue pia tumemtambua na senators zote wengine just one minute i know time has gone na unakwanga brief asante governor uh, mheshimiwa rais uh, uongozi wa kanisa ya ADC kiongozwa na archbishop pamoja na waumini wote naomba ni wasalimu bwana Yesu asifiwe bwana Yesu asifiwe sana asante mheshimiwa rais mimi nimefurahi kuandamana na wewe kuja katika kanisa hii kwa sababu ingawaje sisi huomba na huenda katika makanisa yetu kuna tendo moja ambalo linafanyika katika